What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. All right, check it out. This movie right here, this is exactly what the doctor ordered when it came to these movie theaters, when it came to the box office, because I don't know if you guys have been paying any attention at all. The box office has been an utter disaster so far in these first two months of 2024. Okay, now we're moving into March, and now we got a bona fide certified blockbuster on our hands, and that's really going to help bring people back into the theaters, because I'm telling you, you go to the theaters, have you guys been to the theaters to watch any movies so far this year? You know, of course to the box office not a lot of you are going and the reason is is there's really nothing to watch like am i going to watch argyle am i really going to plunk down my money to see argyle yeah probably not and yeah and the box office reflects that or madam webb am i going to see madam webb hell no all right but this movie right here, oh yeah, this is one that sounds like a movie that I might be able to rock with. If you're on my channel and you watch my channel, you're going to love this movie, okay? I already did my out of the theater review. If you didn't see that, I'll link it above right here so you can check it out. Uh, but yeah, go see this movie. Go see it on the biggest format possible. IMAX, you know, Dolby Prime, whatever you got in your area. Try to see it on the biggest format you can because it is an absolute feast for the eyes and the ears the visuals the sound quality everything magnificent stuff so yeah it gets my highest recommendation uh same with the critics okay 94 percent here 95 percent with the audience you know and yeah people are definitely going to check it out and yeah we got uh doom part two worms way to 70 to 80 million dollar opening uh yeah so this is what they expected to do 70 to 80 milli uh before the weekend is said and done and look this is exactly what these theaters needed a bona fide blockbuster hit to bring people back in and get them excited about the movies because think about this think about this if you're not going to the movies all right if there's really nothing in theaters you kind of get out of the habit of even checking for movies you know, you're not really in the habit. It's like, well, you know, ah, we don't really see anything interesting in theaters. You know, let's go ahead and watch whatever we got on these streaming networks. We're paying for all of this shit. You know, we're paying for all of these streaming networks. Let's just sit at home and watch something on Netflix or HBO Max or whatever, you know. And so when you start getting into that habit and stop getting in the habit of going to movies and then these uh, movies start drying up and it's like, oh, well, we'll just throw it out, you know, on streaming on demand or video on demand in about three or four months. So it's like, all right, well, then if it's going to be out in three months, what am I rushing to the theaters to see it for? And slowly but surely, those theaters start dying out. OK, movie theater and movie going experiences, they start dying out and nobody's really going there anymore. So they need a film like Dune to kind of kickstart the whole season. It's like, finally, we're going to get a movie that's going to really get us going for the remainder of the year. And you can see this is kind of funny right here. I, I found this one interesting, right? So it says here, Doom Part 2 will dust the box office, dust off the box office with a $170 million global debut. Now, if this thing manages to make $170 million in its first weekend globally, all right, look at this. This is the 2024 worldwide box office so far. The Beekeeper is the number one movie in the world with $150 million. So in its first weekend, it's going to beat a movie that came out in January, all right? Beekeeper came out in January, I want to say like mid-January, and it's already going to surpass that in its first weekend. That's how bad the box office has been, not just in this country, but worldwide. You know, again, you need movies to kick off other movies. You know, in March looks like it's going to be a decent month with a lot of big franchises coming up. Yeah, you guys know Box Office Pro. They do the long-range box office forecast uh, for all the upcoming films. This is for Godzilla Kong, but you go, it gives you this list of all the upcoming films that are coming in. Um, and yeah, like what happens is, you know, you go and watch Dune in theaters and say, hey, man, I had a great time. Dune was awesome. What's coming up next week? You know, what's the next film that's coming out? And it's like, oh, well, maybe we'll go and check out Imaginary. You know, or maybe we'll go out and check uh, Kung Fu Panda 4 and take the kids. You know, we did Doom for us. Let's take the kids to go watch Kung Fu Panda. You see how that works? Again, a good movie experience will bleed over to the next week and then to the following week and so on and so forth. And yeah, Dune is absolutely going to help all of these films, right? Like maybe even the American Society of Magical Negroes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe even this one gets some burn from Dune, you know, because, oh, um, you know, Dune came out. Uh, all right. Uh, and, and, you know, I don't know if the trailer is playing for this. It didn't in my theater. Uh, but maybe somebody throws a trailer up there and people see this and get excited and want to go check. I have no idea. Uh, but, yeah, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire for sure. All right. I had a Frozen Empire trailer. And, you know, people, 
you know, they will get excited because it's like, hey, I had a great experience in the theaters. You know, had my bucket of popcorn. We were enjoying ourselves. This was great. It's a great time. I didn't go and see some stupid ass movie that I'm like, man, screw these movies, these Hollywood movies. I could have saved my money and stayed at home and watched Netflix or watched something on YouTube or whatever and spent my two hours or two and a half hours or three hours a lot better than I did coming to this bunk ass theater to watch this bunk ass movie. You know, like that's how people will feel if they don't watch a good movie in theaters and have that good experience. That's how they're going to feel about it. You know, so you got to have good films in theaters and then all of that will translate into bigger box offices for everybody. You know, Godzilla Kong. Yeah, they expect Godzilla Kong to do great numbers, you know, but it'll do even better numbers if you have a movie like Dune, you know, coming in, you know, doing this stuff right here. OK, 94 percent on the tomato meter, 95 percent audience score. You know, again, folks see these numbers and they have, you know, confidence. You know, confidence and excitement. Ooh, you know, everybody's saying, go see it. You know, and I, I saw the first one and the first one was pretty good. All right, let me see the rest of the story. You know, I, I've seen a lot of people. Oh, man, I still haven't seen the first Dune. You know, so now the first Dune is, you know, starting to pick up some steam, you know, on streaming on demand and everything. People are going to watch that. And then it bleeds into this. So, again, when you make good films, this is kind of the point I'm making with this whole thing. When you make good movies, Hollywood, it helps everybody. Everyone wins when you actually take the time to make a good movie instead of making horseshit that nobody wants to watch. You know, trying to do this cash grab stuff like you did with Madam Webb. And that's not doing any wonders whatsoever, not just for the movie going experience, but also for the entire Sony Spider-Man universe. Again, this is and now guess what? When Doom Part 3 comes out, everybody's going to go and check it out. Everybody's going to be excited for Doom Part 3. So the moral of the story is make good movies. OK, make good movies. Everybody wins. You can't go wrong. Anyway, folks, you guys let me know what you think about this situation. I'm happy to see it again. Uh, I'll be going to check it out probably this weekend because, you know, I love this movie. It's a great movie and it's an experience I think that everybody should have on the biggest format possible. So if you check it out, let me know what you thought about the format and the visuals and everything because, I mean, it's dynamite. I had a great time. You guys let me know what you think. Jump down in the comments. Give me your thoughts and opinions on that. And thanks for watching. See you next time.